Welcome and thank you for beginning your trial with Score Takeoff. In this video, we will learn the basics of how to use Score Takeoff and some of the fundamental pieces you will need to know to get started. To begin this process, the first thing you need to do is create your first project. To create a project, you can start from the dashboard and simply select the Create New Project button in the top right, or you can navigate over to your job management screen. We are going to access job management. Inside of job management, this will be a list of all of your jobs and all of your projects. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So we will select create new project. You're going to fill out all of the relevant information you need to get started, such as the company name, owner, and the project name. You'll see there's more information you can collect on your project. This is really just for reference and collecting some of the project details and notes. To begin your first takeoff, you'll simply just select save once you've filled out all of the appropriate information on this project. This next screen is going to ask you to begin with a set of plans. Uh, there are actually three ways you can begin this takeoff. You can either upload a full set of plans by browsing your computer and uploading them here. You can also select Google Maps and you can use blank pages. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab a set of plans from my computer and I'm simply just going to click and drag them over in bulk just like that. Now that my plans have successfully loaded, I'm going to select continue and that is going to open up my project. Now on this project, on the left hand side is a list of all of my pages. This will reflect the pages of the plan that you uploaded. If it's a 50 page plan, you'll notice that you have 50 pages listed on the left hand side. If you think you're missing a couple of pages, simply just hit this little refresh wheel and you'll see any pages that have been processing in the background. Across the top of your pages are a series of icons that allow you to edit, add, and maintain your pages. I highly recommend that you go through these and practice using them. For the sake of today, I'm not going to get into the detail of them, simply where they are and, and a general idea of what they are doing. The next step here is learning the basic navigation of takeoff. This is something that may be unfamiliar to you depending on your background and how if you have used takeoff software in the past. I'm going to go ahead and access a page and talk a little bit about navigating this screen. The key here is wherever your cursor is when you zoom in, it is going to zoom into that point of your cursor. Okay. The trick is right click and drag. So when you right click and drag, it is going to pan the screen for you. Okay. So you're going to find yourself doing a lot of right click and drag, zooming in and zooming out throughout your takeoff experience. The left click of your mouse is how you're going to engage measurements. It's how you're going to, let's say, set your scale. It's how you're going to add notes and actually manipulate the plan. The right click and drag is the thing that throws a lot of people off. Now to begin your first takeoff, the first step is you have to scale your plans. There's really two ways to scale your plan. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in down here in the bottom of this plan. You can use either the page scale or you can use the manual scale. Both have their own advantages. The, what I would say is that the manual scale is likely going to be the most accurate option for you. However, it does take a little bit more time to complete. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to manually scale your plan, but you can always use the page scale if you feel confident in that page scale. To manually scale your plan, you'll simply just go up here to the scale button in the top of your screen. First, you will select the measurement type, whether you are imperial or metric. We do have capabilities that allow metric users and metric measurements. We also have an entire starter package made in metric. Next is our set scale. We're going to set that manually and we are simply going to type in 86 feet, 10 inches. So what I'm doing is I'm going to trace over the top of this 86 foot, 10 inch line. The longer the measurement that you're scaling to, the more accurate the scale is going to be. So again, I'm gonna choose that 86 foot, 10 inch line. To begin your scale, you will simply just select start and the idea is you will left click at the beginning of that scale line and left click at the end of the scale line. So I'll simply scroll in, zoom in, left click to start, right click and drag and left click to end it. Before I do this, I'm going to show you a little trick. You'll notice it's hard to get your line to line up perfectly straight. We have a tool that helps keep your lines straight. It is called ortho. To enable ortho, up here to options in the top of your screen and select enable ortho. You can do this at the time of a measurement or before a measurement. 
And notice now it keeps that line nice and straight and crisp, if you will. We will simply left click to finish that scale line. And just like that, we now have a scaled set of plans ready to begin working our takeoff. On the left hand side of our pages, at the very top you will see we have our three main takeoff tools. We have our area, linear, and count tools. These tools allow you to make measurements on the plan for quick takeoffs and very efficient reference measurements. We also have an additional ability called assemblies. Assembly measurements allow you to calculate the individual components that make up a certain measurement. I'm going to demonstrate both of them today. First, let's go ahead and start off by doing an area. For the area example, we're going to go ahead and calculate, let's say, the hardwood floor or the flooring of this first floor. So I'll select area, and I'm going to type in hardwood floor. Uh, I can add a description. I'm going to add the area type as standard, and I'm going to give this a color, something that stands out. And I can type in manually my price per square foot. So let's say it's going to be 20 bucks a square foot. To move forward, we're simply going to hit start, and now we are going to apply that hardwood flooring assembly, or excuse me, that hardwood flooring takeoff tool. To measure out that square footage for the hardwood floor, you simply left click on every corner for the area in question. So let's say that those hardwood floors go through the family, the dining, the kitchen, and let's say it goes through the living room as well. And all I'm doing is left clicking on the corners. And now when I'm done with this area, I'm simply going to double click and just like that, we have measured out 1,131 square feet of hardwood floor. Let's do two more examples. I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and measure out the total linear footage of the exterior walls. To do that, we're simply going to select the linear tool up here in the top of the screen. And I'm going to type in exterior walls. In the linear type, I'm simply going to choose standard linear. But notice you have multiple options of types of linear measurements you can make. Next is our linear width. We're going to go ahead and give that a width of four, and we will change the color to something, again, that stands out nice and bright. And let's go ahead and say our price per linear foot of exterior walls puts us at, oh, let's just say $15. Doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and select start, and now I will begin measuring out the linear footage of the exterior walls. And all I'm doing is left clicking on every corner of the exterior wall on this set of plans. All right, going real quick here. And let's just go ahead and stop it right here. Now you would typically go through the rest of your exterior wall measurements. Now notice we're looking at 203.14 linear feet. Now again, these are simply just the basic measurements, about 1,100 square feet of floor and 203 linear feet of exterior walls, which works for a lot of cases. However, if you would like to know the components that make up those different measurements, we are going to use these things called assemblies. Assemblies is where a lot of value lives here in Square Takeoff. To access your assemblies, you'll simply select this templates library or templates right next to your pages list. Inside of here, you're going to see a series of templates. These templates are a storage place of assemblies. You will be defaulted with the Square Takeoff starter package, Square Takeoff Metric Starter Package, and the Basic Measurements. Today's example, we are going to access Square Takeoff Starter Package, and we will run a sample assembly to give you an idea of what these can do for you. To begin this process, I'm simply going to open up the Square Takeoff Starter Package, and I'm going to measure out the interior framed walls. So I'm going to figure out the framing for all of my interior walls. Now I will tell you that inside of the Score Takeoff Starter Package, you're looking at a series of folders. These folders are here to organize your assemblies and make it easy for you to find the assemblies that you need. In this case, I'm simply going to access the relevant folder for what I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for uh, my interior walls. So I'm gonna access the Framing Starter Package here. I'm going to access the interior wall framing. I'm going to access the 2x4 interior wall framing, because that's what material we need for this plan. And then finally, I need to make a decision on which type of wall I'm putting in. You'll notice you're looking at an assembly in this menu when you see this little icon on the left-hand side and this little play button. That icon tells you whether it's a linear, area, or count assembly. 
So now I have to pick the height of the walls I'm doing for this. 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, or 16. On this plan, this plan calls for 10 foot interior walls, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I'm simply going to hit the play button on that 10 foot two by four interior wall and select start. The key difference between a takeoff measurement and an assembly measurement is that a, an assembly is made up of what are called parts. And parts calculate the material quantities based on the linear footage drawn on the plan in this case. There is an endless possibility to the type of parts that you can add inside of your assemblies. And there's so much that you can customize and do with it to meet the needs of your company. However, you do have a nice starting place with the starter package provided to you. Inside of these parts, you'll notice you have these things called properties. Properties allow you to change the allows you to change the parameters of which these measurements or these parts are calculating, as well as associating your cost and your markup values for your estimate. To change any one of these properties, you simply select the black plus button next to the property you would like to make an adjustment to, type in the new property value and select update, and that will update that relevant property. Moving on to the next step here is we're gonna go ahead and select save. Now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my interior walls. To begin that process, I simply left click where I would like to begin, and I'm simply going to left click through all of the interior wall measurements that I would like to make. And we're gonna go ahead and just do a couple more here. Okay. And once we've completed that interior wall, I'm simply going to hit stop. Now, all of that information can be reviewed up here inside of your reports tab. The takeoff measurements that you completed, the area and linear for the floor as well as the exterior walls can be reviewed inside of the takeoff report. Any assembly led measurements can be reviewed by going to the estimates report. So let's briefly review that. To start with the takeoff report, we'll simply export this selected document to HTML. And notice, here's a nice list of everything that makes up our takeoff measurements. Notice the $20 a square foot for the floor and $15 per linear foot for the exterior walls. On the flip side of this, if we go to reports and now we select the estimate report, the assembly measurements will now will be inside of this estimate report. And by opening this assembly, you will notice now for the interior wall measurement we made of 154 linear feet, we are going to need 11 bottom plates, 128 studs, 22 top plates, and 17 pieces of framed wall bracing. That's really what you need to know to get started. Please spend some time making your measurements, getting familiar with the starter package, and think about opportunities for you to customize your assemblies and parts and make this system work for you and your company.